share your screen with the audience. Really? Well, hello. Let me just let people know that I am on live right now. All righty. Um, okay. I'm on live. <laughs> Whoa, one person will say something. <laughs> Oh my God, this is so exciting. I am like thinking, let me just let people on Instagram know that I am on YouTube right now. You know, in my culture, when you go on a long journey and you come back, you always have to say hello. You always have to say, hey, and I didn't get to do it. So I'm just going to do like an animal of the victim. Okay, let me do a YouTube logo and say I'm on YouTube right now. So, hey, <laughs> oh my God, I thought I was on my own. I was like, I'm on my own. Let me just let people know that I'm on YouTube so that I can get more people coming. And here you are. Okay, I'm still going to do it though. Feed. Okay, then I'm going to go next. Then I'm going to go, what the heck is this? Okay, I'm on YouTube right now. Then I'll pay attention uh, to you all okay right now okay all righty so hi guys hi hi joan lynch hi Brittany denton hey i've been in africa <laughs> i have been in africa and i just came back and then i moved to a, a different province i moved far far away because my U.S. papers are going to take so long. So I decided, whatever. Oh, see, I don't know what I'm doing here. So let me just stop, okay? So I am back. I've been away for months. Oh, my God. I had so much fun in Africa. I, I didn't quite rest, though. But I had so much fun. See my new bits? Can you see my new stuff? Can you see? Can you see? new materials okay i literally thought of you the other day hi Brittany. thank you so much happy to see you nice to see you too this this youtube has been so quiet and when i put up stuff i no longer get my 1000 views i only get like 600 and i'm so unhappy everybody else has grown and i have remained where i am because the hacking is so permanent. I am thinking of doing another, yeah, new uniform, yeah. I am thinking new uniform. I am thinking of doing another YouTube, but because I'm still gonna be using my name and my details, uh, I'm, I'm afraid that that too will be hacked. Where have I, hi Victoria, where have I been? Where in Africa? I went to Zimbabwe, Botswana, Namibia, South Africa, and Zambia. Zambia was just there for like a day. I'd really like to go to Zambia and check it out a lot. But I'm thinking, you watch everything on Patreon. I, I will, I, a Patreon, I will watch here. That's true. That's true. But it's so depressing that my YouTube channel is dead, dead as a doornail. And I'm so grateful to the 600 of you and the 700 who still were checking up on me and we're still coming back and we're still checking it out. So anyway, I'm here and you can ask me any question you like about my trip and about any of the countries I like. <laughs> You make me laugh and I get excited when I hear your voice. Thank you so much, Venus. Thank you so much. I'm going to try to be more out of the, my shell this time around because my ancestors told me that you are, now, you are now in the last quarter of your life. So then I said, quarter, quarter. Okay. Do you know what? I should have calculated it. Quarter, the last quarter of my life. I should have calculated it. So I'm going to do it right now with you all. Okay. So I'm 53 and my ancestors told me I'm now in the last quarter of my life. Where the frick is the calculator? I mean, does anybody know? Okay. So the quarter, quarter of my life, I have to divide 53 by three, right? Then I think I'll get the answer, right? 
Right, people? I mean, I'm thinking, who is the mathematician? Where is my good, okay, found the good phone? <laughs> okay, quarter. Yeah, my ancestors told me I am now in the last quarter of my life. So it's what, divided by three? And then I add, yeah, divided by three equals 17 years. So I've got about 17 years left. Did I do the right math? Oh, yes, John Lynch. There you go. Yeah. John, so now I'm 53. So now I'll be 63. And then, you know, I'll be dead at around 71, 72, according to my ancestors. So they say to me, this is the last quarter of your life do what you want with it so i've become such a recluse and in my reclusiveness i've lost a lot so i moved to another province and i'm right in the heart of the city and i want to i, I want to um you know i want to to do things i want to go out i want to meet people i want to lose weight i want to just you know all that jazz Okay, please share any beautiful moments from your visit. Did you feel comforted and reminded of your beauty as an African? Not in Zimbabwe. You know, I'm always honest with you people and I'm always live and direct. Okay, not in Zimbabwe. When I first, but that's also because I am a chosen. When I first entered Zimbabwe, my cousin was waiting for me that was the most beautiful experience and spending time with my cousin was the most beautiful experience however i felt hunted zimbabwe always gives me that feeling it always gives me that feeling i felt hunted i felt uh yeah hunted and guarded i wasn't free so i could hardly wait to get out of zimbabwe and my mother would not see me. I really wanted to see her. I wanted to bring peace to the both of us just by my presence, but she hates me that much. So she would not see me. So Zimbabwe, the first month was so horrible and the final month was just as horrible. I need a vacation. <laughs> so the beautiful moment, Botswana, as every day in Botswana was a beautiful moment i ain't gonna lie in fact i've chosen botswana is my country of residence boom 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 i ain't gonna lie every moment in botswana was a beautiful every day every day and i cried when i left best moment though namibia on my birthday by the sand dunes and i was doing the climbing and everything worst moment south africa but not because of what south africa did but because a lot of things that i had going on dropped in south africa a lot of people let me down so i spent like a month crying and thank god i was among my own because without knowing it they were there they were very comforting they were very loving they helped me rise you know and i think i left south africa a very different person so obviously i'm gonna go back to south africa because that's the land of my ancestors and the whole thing is that they would like me to live there right and of course i'm gonna go to botswana beautiful moment was definitely the the namib desert that was a beautiful moment venus your weight is fine you are pretty my knees don't think so my knees are beginning to hurt because i'm carrying too much weight but I, you know i've decided that in this last quarter i will just take my time to lose weight and i will just get to the end thin i don't have to start thin you know and my boobs have gone bigger anyway because biologically the older a woman gets the bigger the boobs so you know and you see i've got chest you see, I've got chest, they get bigger. <laughs> Hi, Fafalis. Hi, Essence. Are you currently accepting PayPal on your Patreon? Good to see you. I should, shouldn't I? I I'm not in charge of Patreon. I just, they are in charge of that stuff, you know. I just 
put my stuff, my shoes, my stuff on there. And I was just sitting here thinking, I want to beef up the $29.99 package. Yes, I'm going to do some lives there. As soon as I move to my new apartment, I'm going to start doing lives. And um, yeah, for the $29.99 package, once a month or twice a month, because I, you're, they're my students. Yes, Venus, these toss are curves. Like literally everybody recognized me from my curves. Okay, everybody recognized every Tosa person said, You are one of us after they saw my body. <laughs> I want to know if there is any more water oil. There isn't. I'm trying to make a fire body butter. I'm deciding to get modern people. I want to make a fire body butter. I might make a body oil and then a body butter. I just think there's something so luxurious about doing this and then doing this. I don't know. I'm crazy. But that's what I'm working on right now. A fire body butter because fire is always first and then air and then water and then earth, right? The oldest is last, you know. So I don't have any water. It is luxurious, isn't it? So I'm trying to make body butters, people. I'm trying to make body butters. I'll still have oils for the hard knock old school people, but I'll also make body butters. So, um, yeah, that, I'm going to do that. And, you know, I'm going to also make them a little smaller so that everybody can kind of afford, right? So I'm going to make them smaller and make them cheaper. That way... I, they go to lots of people then i'm i'll make some so in, in this time around i'm gonna have two sizes the big ones and the small ones and then my trial body butter right so that's what i'm doing making if i'm trying to my ex, grandma tom bizodua is trying to work out a recipe for for body butter because you know we're gonna sell those other oil recipes to you people I'm putting them in my book. I think I'm not sure. Hi, Council. You know, hi. I'm not sure, but yeah, I'm I'm thinking of doing a a, a, a a fire body butter. So that's what you should look forward to expecting. Fire, probably end of March. Fire. <laughs> probably end of March fire so that's what you should be i've got what 17 years to leave my legacy behind did your son enjoy the visit oh hell to the mother fucking no <laughs> he did not but did he grow up in the process yes he did he didn't. He grew up in the process, but hell no, hell no, hell no. You know, hell no. Hey, Kiki. Yeah, he, he didn't like it. He did not like Africa at all, which is too bad because, you know, that's home. You know, he kept saying, my mom is the African. I'm an American. <laughs> Thank you, Kiki. And I'm talking too much. I don't have enough clients. None of you all are booking readings. So I'm just sitting here facing uh, and doing my Patreon, of course. I am recording for Patreon. I try to record at least one thing a day, you know, because, you know, when I move to my apartment, uh, it's going to take me time to set myself up. So while I'm here in the borrowed apartment, I am going to um, do as many as I can and put them on Patreon because thank you so much for your support. I cannot thank you enough. I mean, I used all my credit cards. I used every savings that I had to travel because I was so, and I kind of still am. I was so traumatized by what happened to me. So devastated so i don't know broken i didn't want to come back i still kind of do not want to come back like 
I was like, why did I come back? Why? And my ancestors did not want me to come back. They just kept on saying, you should stay. Stay in South Africa. Stay in South Africa. But I couldn't do it. See, interesting. It's like I'm having a, an allergic reaction. I didn't want to come back. So, um, yeah. And it was really tough for me to catch that plane and I cried. And the most beautiful thing that a Zimbabwean woman said to me, you know, the ones who stand by the plane, she pe pepped me up like a little girl. You know what I love about Africa? The humanity, the compassion. In all the time I was there, the people who hurt me were all from this side of the world. Like, People who hurt me, my friends, hurt me so much while I was on that trip. And some of the pain is, is some of the damage is permanent. It's really permanent. But while I was there, everybody was so beautiful. In every country that I went to, everybody was so beautiful. But most definitely Botswana and Victoria Falls, especially Victoria Falls, because by that time I knew I was coming home and I didn't really want to. Yeah, it was worth it. Would I do it again? Would I go broke trying to heal my soul and my brain? And I don't know, my brain was knocking against my skull for three years. And then after. I lost my house and I lost a lot of my money and I lost everything. Then I, then my ancestors were telling me, you're going to have to start again, knocking, knocking, knocking. And then in August, when I, um, when I thought I was good, because when I thought I was good and I was having a, a fun time, right, my friend I came to cause me a lot of heartbreak, right? But the heartbreak only hit me in December when I was in, in South Africa. That's when I saw the true extent of the betrayal, the true extent of, of the joke. Because this person who I adored took my life and turned it into a joke. So when I was in South Africa, I couldn't get out of bed for one month because I was in shock. It's like I could not believe it. And I was in so much pain. And that knocking, the knocking, the knocking. And then, you know, when you're not well as a metaphysical person, when you are traumatized or stressed, it's like the veil opens in rips. It's jagged. You know what I'm saying? Jagged, 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 jagged. And it opens in, in like it's ripped and it opens and it's jagged. And Everything from the veil is coming at you and you can't close your ears. It's crazy. And you're going through pain that human beings put you through, you know. So, hey, hey. So, it was like South Africa was really like beautiful because if I didn't have my people around me, the thoughts are around me, watching over me, taking care of me, just checking up on me, you know, I don't know if I would have survived it. But again, I don't want to sound repetitive, but it was after that experience, I went to Victoria Falls and I could breathe. You know, I had to see a doctor. The hotel called a doctor and the doctor kept came running to me because just thinking about the betrayal and everything else that has happened to me in the last two years. You know, guys, it's not a sin to love and trust someone. It's not a sin. So, you know, no, Venus, I'm good. I'm good. I healed in Victoria Falls. It's like stepping into Victoria Falls. I, I, I breathed and just being with the animals, going on safari, 
not even going on safari because animals are moving about you know i love free range animals and just seeing the signs of the republic of zimbabwe and the president of zimbabwe saying free range free range it's making me so happy and the water because i'm a water and the heat the heat it's just washed away my pain and you know when you're swimming in victoria falls the water is warm it's so cool you guys the water is so so warm so you know it's like it washed away my pain it it really did it really did and that like i said that's when i realized what i really wanted was a sanctuary i really wanted to go where they were fellow you know sangomas I could have headed to to Botswana for that, but it would have taken, you know, I would have had to pay more money and everything to get to uh, Zimbabwe to catch my flight. But, you know, when I was there in Vic Falls and I was in nature, and nature is so beautiful. Really, guys, for people like you and I, nature is the only healer. We don't do well in the concrete jungle, but I decided to situate myself in the concrete jungle because I've done the burbs. I've done the burbs. They didn't work out very well for me. <laughs> I've done the burbs. They didn't work out very well for me. So now I'm in the center, right? I'm in the center. The other South African tribes are your family too. We just have our drama as a people. This I know because when I landed in Johannesburg, oh my God, oh my God. It's, it's, it's so weird how the country of my birth and my mother's country, the country that I know, I don't feel, ever since I became a Sangoma, I feel like a foreigner to them. I, I feel like, yeah, I'm a foreigner to them and they are foreigners to me. It's so weird how your life changes. Bad girl night, when I sleep, I'm exactly try to take naps in between before you cook dinner for the kids. Take a 30 minute nap, like seriously, just put 30 minutes on your timer and sleep for 30 minutes. Sometimes that helps, you know, so I began to think if it's not there, you build it. So I'm going to try. There is some, yes. So guys, questions. I'm not going to stay long because I'll be talking too much on TikTok and TikTok doesn't give me any money at all. And I had not yet come to say hello. When you go on a long journey, you got to come back to say hello. I had not done that. So I am here. Hi, CC Barbie. Hi, Lucky Star. Hi. I missed you guys. I thought of you guys every day. My work is also my social life and everything. I thought about you guys every day and I missed you. And I realized that you guys are really my chosen tribe. And it is true, once I hit this part of the world, it felt like home, but this home is a killer. This home, I've suffered a lot of illness, a lot of pain, a lot of tragedy. I have literally gone on my knees. So now I don't really vibe with this world, if you know what I'm saying. Did you go to the sea in the Eastern Cape? Yes, I did. It was freezing cold, sister. <laughs> I went with my friend. She's South African. And she uh, we actually coordinated our landing in south africa she was coming home for christmas and i was going there because my ancestors insist right so we coordinated so i spent beautiful oh my god it was really beautiful she's one of my good good friends and i'm so glad she made the trip just to be in my company i mean she had other things too it wasn't just for me but i'm so glad that we were in each other's companies it wasn't for me at all it was her plan to come home for christmas and i coordinated with her so that we could be there around the same time it was beautiful 
it was really beautiful. I've just been thinking about you saying that you're going through something. So is your flock. I've been on my knees a lot too, crying a lot. I feel like I don't know anyone in my life right now. Well, welcome to the club, but I just did a class. But it's only, I only give my inner knowledge to the $29.99 package because they have shown that they are in it for the right reasons. That's why they signed for that package. But let me tell you, money. God puts a helper in everyone's life. What I've learned is that God puts us in groups of five. And out of those five, one is a helper. One, their energies are supposed to lift up the others, not via harvesting, but via physical, physical stuff and physical. Anyway, that is a class I just did for my... Um, it's a class I just did for my Patreon, the $29.99 package. It's really fascinating the things I've discovered about us as people and how we move in this world. So we feel alone because the ones who are attached to us, whom God attached to us, make us feel alone. How did I find out? Because the person who totally destroyed me and I, because of the person who totally destroyed me and I ended up catatonic on my bed in South Africa for one month. You know, I always go back to the metaphysical to find out. And that's how I found out that people always walk as five. Isn't that interesting? The number five. For those of you who do numerology. As a torch pair of light, you really guided me on my own journey. I just received my poker in the mail. So, oh, I hope so. And good hunting. <laughs> good hunting. <laughs> I, I, I no longer do spells and rituals on myself. I'm, I'm done with cleansings. I've cleansed myself to the end of my days. So I no longer do them, but I will do them for you. Okay, but I no longer do them for myself. You know, five is my number. Sometimes my ancestors make me do things five times instead of three. There you go. There you go. So your ancestors must be very close to God and his pattern. They are like, oh, hell no. We're just going to follow God. We're just going to do everything in fives. <laughs> oh, my. It makes you feel crazy, right? That's why I don't know how long it's going to take me, but yeah, I've just calculated the last quarter of my life, maybe 17 to 18 years, if I take care of my body and if I do good, right? So that's good. It's good because um, I might just build it and then you can go there. So what else did I love about uh, uh, Southern Africa? The food. My food favorite traditional dish has got to go to Botswana. Seswa. Oh my God. Botswana beef is untouchable. I didn't even know what chicken was because Botswana beef is untouchable. Chicken licking wings are untouchable. World give South Africa its flowers. I am a chicken wing fanatic. I just had some for I just had some for lunch. I eat chicken wings at every given time. You know, I eat chicken wings. Oh, I eat chicken wings at every given time. And let me tell you, chicken licking. That right there is the best wings in the world i've eaten them on all five continents okay don't play with me chicken licking takes the trophy give south africa and its imagination its flowers overall the best food for me this time around gotta be south africa you nobody can beat that now that i'm used to their taste of food that food is good and that food made me so fat so but squad of food is healthy Okay, healthy food because I lost so much weight in Botswana. Zimbabwean food is no longer fully G GMO, 
So the last time I was there, I stayed in a hotel. It was nasty. Ugh. But when I was staying in the Airbnb and I was doing my own groceries, it was yummy. It was so good. So yeah, the best food ah, goes to South Africa without a doubt because almost every dish was mwah, okay? Without a doubt goes to South Africa. But Botswana, oh my goodness. I, 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 I cannot live without going back to Botswana 17 times. Okay. <laughs> I cannot. Okay. Botswana. Oh my God. The beef in Botswana, you haven't lived. You have got to go eat the beef in Botswana. Take a plate. Don't laugh at me. Take a plate. Go to Botswana, eat their beef. Take a plate. Go to South Africa, order chicken licking. Just a water chicken licking. No more questions. <laughs> what else? Um, best weather obviously goes to Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe has the best weather. That's why they're going to. That's why they suffer from droughts. If they've got the most temperate weather. Zimbabwe has the best weather. So best weather goes to Zimbabwe. Best infrastructure obviously goes to South Africa. Um, um, best freedom goes to Botswana. Best happiness goes to Botswana. To me, best beauty goes to Botswana. Namibia only got best day. <laughs> Yeah, Namibia only got best day. <laughs> so, what? Which country did I fall in love with? Botswana. I really fell in love with Botswana. Safety, Botswana. That's true. Safety, Botswana. Friendliness, Botswana, because it's so safe. Botswana. Grocery shopping, Botswana. I mean, best Wi-Fi service. Oh, that's seriously. I gotta give that to South Africa. South Africa and Zimbabwe are almost at par, but I'm gonna go with South Africa. I don't know, they're equal. They're equal. Yeah, because, let me see. No, it's gotta go to Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe doesn't buffer. Yeah, Zimbabwe has no buffering. Best Wi-Fi, Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe has no buffering. Worst Wi-Fi, Botswana. <laughs> And my energy didn't vibe with Namibia, so I, I just, yeah, I just wanted to get out of there. I just, you know, didn't vibe. No, Zimbabwe doesn't buffer. Zimbabwe works all the time. Uh, South Africa buffers, it buffers, it buffers, you know, you know, you know. <laughs> what else? Worst roads, Zimbabwe. Uh, Dirtiest Zimbabwe. I found the streets dirty. I found the malls in the city center dirty. I found ugh, everything is falling apart. So I'm gonna give it to Zimbabwe. Um, what else? Best malls, obviously. I don't know. Botswana and South Africa are even. 50 50. I didn't go to a Namibia mall. I, I didn't. I just couldn't be bothered. Okay. Vi no, visit Botswana for the beef and visit South Africa. Oh, no, just visit chicken licking because chicken, don't go to the chicken licking in Zimbabwe. I didn't try the chicken licking in, in Botswana. So I would advise you to just because once you're in Botswana, you can it's an hour into south africa so just you know hire a car drive into south africa an hour eat some chicken licking and then and eat some lamb chops and i can create a whole list of things that south africa does i mean overall south african food was the best hey belody Please do a reading on Madonna. I did do a reading on Madonna. I shall do a live one. She's sick. She's always sick. She should actually retire, but she doesn't want to. 
Namibia has great lamb too. I never ate it. It's like um. Ancestors branch. Oh my God, you guys are going to kick me in the teeth because I keep changing my mind. I keep changing my mind. So I'm just not going to talk about it until, but let's talk about our day of light. Is Beyonce hair products demon infested? No, use them. Let's talk about the day of light, people. The day of light, March 10. I bought my candles today. <laughs> I'm going to move into my new place with my candles. I bought my candles. Yes. Day of light. I bought my candles. I just decided that I'm older now. I'm going to embrace this existence. And I'm broke as a joke because, of course, now I've got so much debt from credit cards, from traveling and so on. But, you know, it is what it is. And there is a recession. And, um, yeah, I'm pretty much not working. So you're going to find me just talking a lot, you know. I'm going to talk a lot and I'm going to share a lot. Go, go, please talk about inflation. When will, when will the prices go down? Mm, we don't see them going down, but they will stabilize and they will even out. I'm reminding you all, March 10. Day of light. What's on my menu? Lamb and cheesecake. <laughs> That's what's on my menu. Lamb and cheesecake. That's what's on my menu. Day of light, March 10. Do not forget a holiday that we started. Guys, even if I die, don't forget a holiday I started with you we literally started this holiday and then they say do you know what's so funny they then they say that oh it takes forever to to for the united nations to agree and to decide or whatever but we women we did it in a day boom 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 we chose harriet tubman's day we chose our reasons for having the holiday we decided how we were gonna celebrate it day of light March 10, and it actually works. I'm totally looking forward to it. After all the cleansing that I went through, I'm totally looking forward to Day of Light. I bought some mojo for men <laughs> and some herbs to heal men's privates, right? And I was going to give it to my friends, but then my friends, they did what they did and had me lying down for a whole month in South Africa. So I'm going to sell it. So those of you all with men who need some mojo. <laughs> but you know what I'm, what, I'm, what I'm planning on doing? I'm planning on using it for myself. <laughs> I'm planning on taking that mojo and using it for myself that's what i'm planning on doing beyonce i hate her new song i don't like it i really tried to like it i was listening to it as a nice catch because i love country music but there is something just off about it for me it's like it's as off as listening to kanye west singing gospel <laughs> the country song home down or home whatever you know i don't want to play it because then i will get um yeah there's something off about that song that it's it's a song sung by a grown-ass woman who wants to be her daughter's age you know what no she is refusing, you know, to grow up because she knows that if she grows up, I don't know what's wrong with Beyonce. Somebody said to me, I should do a Beyonce reading. That will wake, that will wake my channel up. Maybe I should. <laughs> or maybe I should just try to start a new channel. I don't know. I don't know. I don't like country music. It is fun. Because I totally listened to it once or twice 
introvert yeah it is fun i'm not saying it isn't there's just something about it that's great on my psychic nerves psychic sensibilities like there's something about it that tells me something about her life and whatever it is that it's trying to tell me is not good maybe i'll listen to it several times so that i will get it you know does anybody know where crystal is i miss crystal cooper i just miss her okay um they deleted your yes they did the the hackers deleted my beyonce reading so that they could reduce my thing they did a lot of work and I'm, I keep saying that I don't know if I want to keep this channel or start a new one. Shall we vote? I don't know if the new one won't be hacked either. I started a new Instagram and it was hacked. So I'm afraid that if I start a new YouTube, it's already been hacked. So ladies, just like we decided, just like we decided on Day of Light, help a sister out should i take the chance i will not remove this youtube i won't remove it should i take the chance to start a new one or should i just continue with this one that has been killed start a new one if you want to that's not good i'm saying let's vote why are you being united nations introvert just say it start a new one or stay where you are I love you here. Your TikTok is wild sometimes. All the, all, that's all I do. Do you know why I do comeback videos? Do you know why I do that? Because I really don't have much to say. <laughs> so I wait for someone. My TikTok is not work to me, Venus. My TikTok is not work to me. It is just, you know, I don't understand. I don't know why the hackers start afresh keep this channel okay new one stay keep it now nah, keep it be more consistent stay here please stay new start okay there are more stays than start a new one i am going to be more consistent from now on because i think i need to talk you know that rhesus rhesus um uh, the, the the girl who has gone um i love i vote you start a new channel new beginnings okay i'm thinking that guys that girl whose story i can't yet get into reese reese tisa now that's god right there that's god you love it on, on youtube too right yeah this is work this is more me on TikTok. i'm just being loud <laughs> but i guess i was so loud the hackers dropped my account but i'm not sure that they really dropped my account i'm not sure but i i still can't log in but it's like yeah i'm not sure but now at least the numbers are going up okay uh yes eighth we inducted trump and now on trial the whole white versus black power trip such an entertaining trial like a soap opera yes i've been following it i was following that one mm -hmm. new nick says new okay nick he's a serial baby make mama maker who who? Oh, Reese, 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 Reese's husband. Okay, I'm gonna like burst your bubble a little bit. <laughs> Bearing in mind that I haven't really gone to part two, I'm on part two right now. Thank you, Venus. I'm peaceful on YouTube. This is this is where I first started. This is where, this is my beginning, my start. And I was still so nervous and I was still trying things out. I was so pathetic. <laughs> okay, she didn't lie. And the reason that we are loving her story so much is because her emotions and her truth is coming out. But 
sometimes it's your truth, not his truth. Do you know what I'm saying? So there are certain things there that she inferred, but it was something else. His twin brother helped him with all that stuff. He didn't do it himself, by the way. He didn't. His twin brother helped him. This is the thing about the symbiosis of twins. Gogo, did you send something to the hackers? No. Did, did you know who they are? I knew who they were. It was this, you know, it was about my house, trying to take away my house, but I eventually sold it a terrible loss, right? But no, I don't. Do you know what, what happens when you send evil things out into the air? They boomerang and make their way back to you. Don't ever do it. Don't do it. They Everything boomerangs and makes its way back. Don't do it. She is the truth. Oh, there's no doubt that she is telling the truth. She is telling her story, and it's a beautiful story. I never said she was a liar. I just said sometimes when she was talking, I could hear his point of view. You know what I'm saying? I could hear his point of view. And in the years to come, because she's really the sweetest woman, I'm not just saying this to jump on to get people. No, she really is one of the most genuine energies. Remember what I said? I said, that's God right there. That's God. You know, like literally God was like, hey, I anoint you to do this. Get on there and start telling people because there are so many of you, right? who are going through this. That's what I said. Anyway, I was saying I hate to burst your bubble, but she is going to forgive her husband in the very, very future. And they might even do the do, and they might even do the sneaky link. Not right now. Not right now. Because she is a gracious lady. That's what she is. She's a gracious lady and she's very kind. And she's very understanding of the human psyche. She's very intelligent, very understanding of the human psyche. She's going to end up understanding him. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I mean, everybody is going to expect it to be gum ho like hoo-ha, hoo-ha. For years and years. But now she's, she's, she's going to understand that boy. She's, 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 they're going to hear it a couple of times, but not right now. <laughs> okay. Not right now. She does see her worth right now. She did not see her worth when she was going through it. But now she sees her worth. This is like a butterfly coming out of its cocoon. You know. But then, you know the story, right? As the light, you know, sprouts out of the cocoon, the dark is waiting. The dark is waiting. Do you know what I'm saying? So the dark is waiting, but she herself, she is, that's God. I'll say it again. That's God. Okay. That's God. And because that's God at work. The dark is waiting. They're just waiting. So if you're telling me she's fighting with somebody, well, here's my answer. The dark has caught up with her. <laughs> and the dark has been very efficient. I mean, the dark is like, bitch, please, where do you think you're going? <laughs> the dark, okay, whoever is fighting with her is the dark. You are all metaphysical scientists. I want you to watch this in real technical time. Okay. Whoever is fighting with it, that's the dark. The dark have found her. Now watch the dark do their job because that's God right there. As I was watching her, I haven't quite finished, like I said, because I'm trying to record things for Patreon. 
But as I was watching her, right, I was just like, um, I was like, this is God. It's actually on her. That's what I'm saying. In case people don't get it, this is God. Oh, Kelso, there was no way she could not have gone online and done what she did. Because like I said, that's an assignment from God. And that her story with a pathological husband, liar, pathological liar husband, is going to be so big. It's going to be turned into a movie. Do you know what I'm saying? It's like, because that's God. What I'm trying to show you is when God touches you, when God decides you are the one, nothing can stop you. Nothing can stop you. You know, it's like lots of women go through it, but they go through it in silence and they are ashamed. I, I've been bamboozled by men. I'm not going to lie. What she has gone through, some of it I've got, I haven't even watched it, all of it. But I know because the bits that I watched, I said, oh. <laughs> oh you know, I'm like, oh. You know, because I've been through it. I've been bamboozled by men, you know. And, I, you know, every woman, not every woman, the unlucky ones, because Kenyans say experience is for fools, right? The foolish ones, the foolish ones, the naive ones, the idiots, you know. We have gone through such situations and such similar situations, and we have been hoodwinked, you know eyes closed eyes blinded and then when we find out what what the first thing we feel we feel like the greatest idiots we feel like the greatest foolish women ever and you know it's hard to look at ourselves in the mirror after that like how can someone fool me like this all because i loved them it's not a crime loving someone genuinely without an ulterior motive is not a crime right but imagine how brave she was. Lady was brave. The gracious was brave. She literally just stood there and said, okay, I, I'm, I'm going to tell you all. <laughs> Hi, so, so, Belle. You know, like, I'm going to tell you all. That's God right there. She didn't care about how she was going to be judged. You know what I'm saying? She just was looking for her flock. And pretty much most of us are her flock. <laughs> you know, introvert, you are right, but some people are born with an inner knowing. She's making money and she's going to get that house and the BMW and she deserves it. Congratulations to her because she was brave. You know, nothing comes to the cowards. Nothing comes to those who hide in the dark. You know, everything you ever predicted in the hip hop community came to pass exactly as you said before 2020. I see all unfolding before my eyes. Yeah, your ancestors be on point. Yeah, my ancestors love the hip hop world. I am telling you, yes, they do. And you know what? I'm getting, I'm feeling their strength again because now we are working a lot, right? I'm feeling their strength again. Hi, Vicky Simmons. Hey, nice to see you. And I've only got seven minutes because I only do one hour of these things. But, you know, I think there's a lot of light in 2024. It was started by Ms. Reese. You know what I'm saying, guys? There's a lot to celebrate as Black women. We started the freaking day of light as Black women. And I don't care what happens and where I go in the world. You guys are my tribe. You're my chosen tribe. So, you know, we started a day of light together. And there's a lot of light. We got Miss Reese so soon into the year. There's so much to celebrate. Don't you agree? Hey, Vicky, how's your family? Have you seen Krishan's baby? People claim feet. I have not. I'm going to rush to take a look at that baby very, as soon as I'm off this. I'm not watching that whole TikTok. I, I, I'm not doing it. 
And like, you know, I want to though, I don't want to lie. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, people. I want to sit down on a good Saturday and be TikToking with my, you know, but I am in, I'm in the middle of trying to buy cheap ass furniture. So I'm spending my day walking about my new city, looking for secondhand places and what have you. So that I can, you know, I'm I'm busy, and then I want to put stuff on my Patreon and on my YouTube on a regular basis. You know, you watch the whole thing and it's juicy. Yeah, I know, I know, I can feel it because I'm on part two, and you know, I am a binge watcher, right? I'm a binge watcher. I binge. You know, when I start something, I don't want to stop. I mean, I'm on part two. I was just dazzled by her. By her light from God that's on her forehead. And then I just said, you brave, bitch. You are... <laughs> you are brave. Okay? You are brave. That's what it is. I, I just decided she was brave. Beyond reason. Beyond reason. She is brave. And always where there is bravery, there is light. Because the dark always slink in the dark. You know what I'm saying? But you know what I mean? Most of you who are with me, you're metaphysical scientists. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. Yeah, she's brave. Some of us, it's very hard for us to go that way. <laughs> but, you know, she's brave. She really, really is. So, you know, you're still pushing. I am so glad. I am so glad. Keep pushing, Vicky. So I'm still waiting for some of you to sign up for class because I really want to pass on my shells before I get dementia or something like that. Before or before I run to Africa to do the sanctuary, I really want to pass on. An elder cannot die with their skill. It's absolutely illegal to the Bantu. Absolutely illegal. And I know all you are over there, you will, but in April, yes, because I start in April. Classes start in April. You know, I, I cannot die with my gift. I have to pass it on. So please sign up for class. Please help the ones with no money anymore because they spent it. They became bipolar in the trauma of their lives and they spent it by making appointments. Please help me. Aren't you all getting your taxes? I'm not even getting taxes this year. I'm paying taxes. <laughs> I, I mean, gosh, the tax office was calling me even when I was in Africa, even when I was in the middle of the jungle, I was picking up calls. <laughs> and I said, oh, my God, it's true. There is nothing as certain as death and taxes, okay? They were freaking calling me in the middle of a safari. Oh, my God. People with money sign up for her class. Yes, please. People with money sign up for my classes. Wendy Williams says dementia. That's not a surprise. It comes from the drugs. It comes from her age. And it comes from the trauma of her marriage and her husband leaving her. Trauma causes dementia. When I was in Africa, I was surrounded by doctors. And, and I was getting all this information. Too much human trauma causes dementia. Too much. Jamaica doesn't call you for taxes. Girl, I got called. I got called by Canada Revenue Agency. <laughs> Three times. And I had to tell them, well, I'm not working. Okay, so, you know, so they said, yeah, but you still have a huge tax. I said, I will, you know, when I come back, okay, let us know when you come back. So I'm going to let them know next month, then I'll start paying. And so I'm so broke. Poor Wendy. I, no, seriously, that's what I learned because I was seeing a lot of doctors and they were telling me that I've suffered too much trauma. Way too much trauma. And it started from when I was a baby to now. And highly likely, if I'm not careful, if I'm not careful and I don't step away from, you know, people who don't care for me, Situations that don't work for me, climbing mountains that are too high for me, I'll end up with dementia. 
and I was getting symptoms of it. So they said, they said, if you forget your, before I left Canada, before I left Canada, I, I would just like put my, my car keys down and I would then just forget like in seconds where I put them. And they said those were signs of dementia. But now after my seven months in Africa and doing my stuff, I don't forget where I put my keys. So I'm just trying to be more zen. I stopped drinking because of that. The same way I stopped using ganja because it wasn't good for my mind. I stopped drinking for that reason. This is the year that I dedicate to loving myself. You know, last year I loved people more than I loved myself. When I mean people, I mean those who were my nearest and dearest and really close to me. And they fucked me over. And so this year I said, you know, if you give yourself the love you've been giving out to these people who are okay with fucking you over, you will be a better person and a happier person. And so that's what I'm going to try. That's what I'm going to try. I'm going to give myself that love. And I urge everybody to do it. I'm consciously giving myself that love. Like, and sometimes when I wake up and I'm so depressed and I'm so scared, like I don't have clients or anything right now. And I, I get scared because, you know, homelessness, right? I get scared. And then I just tell myself, oh, hell no, you're strong. Do you know what I'm saying? I pep myself up every morning. It's really helping. Bless do is going through trauma. I really suggest you do that too, because I do that. I'm not going to lie to you. I've always been straight up and honest in front of you guys, because you're my friends, right? You're truly my friends. And I won't stop. Let me tell you, pep yourself up. If you know, pep talk you, you know, you, when you wake up, like, oh no, this morning I said, I'm a strong fuck us black woman. I'm strong as hell. There's nothing I can't do and I'm going to do it. And guess what, guys? I've done a lot. I went to the secondhand stores to look for furniture, right? I, I left running because I don't know why they call themselves secondhand stores anymore because, you know, they are just as expensive as the new stores. You know what I'm saying? But when all is said and done, I'm just like... Yes, I really have a conversation with myself. Oh, oh my God. Going to going home gave me a whole lot of gifts that I had no access to before I went. Now I can hear my soul. She and I, we are talking like this. So it's easy for me to pep myself up because now we are on the same page and we are talking, you know, we're talking. So it's it, pep yourself up, guys, really. And then, well, exercise. I'm trying to, ex I'm exercising every other day and I'm following instructions from the Instagram people. Uh, add a minute a day. I'm doing that. I'm drinking lots and lots and lots of water. And I'm just going to do what the old lady told me to do. Don't try to lose weight in a year or two. Try to lose weight in seven years, five to seven years. You will start cutting down on things all by yourself. And that's kind of true. I've cut down on alcohol. So for, for, my, for my day of light and ancestors day, I'm now the honey and water. Actually, I'm going to do milk and honey. <laughs> I'm going to do milk and honey because I love it. I'm going to do milk and honey. You know, I, milk and honey, and I, I don't use tobacco anymore. I don't use it for that reason. I didn't bring any tobacco, but I did bring some herbs. All the herbs are to remove... I brought herbs for Mojo, you know, for Mojo, you know, you know, African Viagra. I brought that and also for healing male private parts. And then I brought herbs for removing dark energies from the belly because that's way, way more efficient, way more efficient. 
So I'm going to, when I'm settled, I'm going to sell some of them in little pouches like this because you don't need a lot. I got them from Botswana. Botswana. I got them from Botswana. You don't need a lot. And you remove dark energies. You, you drink them on a regular basis with milk because the Botswana don't play about the land of milk and honey. All their herbs are designed for milk. So you drink them with milk and, you know, they, they do work. They do work. I vouch for that. Hi, sunshine. They work. Point blank period okay because my health has has i don't know i'm just healthier i'm just healthier i'm still working on the stress and the trauma that's gonna be a life in you know it's gonna take a long time but my health itself my health from the herbs it's working so i've been you know, I thought I'd send some of my clients who need the herbs. Like when I give you a reading I, I and I think you need the herbs, I'm just going to send them to you. That's one way in which I'm going to be dispersing. Maybe the only way because I have already had two clients that need them. And so I, you know, I, I, I'm sending them with instructions because they clean you out from the inside out and it's... Ugh. It's so nice. Then you don't have to physically cleanse yourself in water all the time. You know, Makulu, would you ever sell Hondo for your flock? I can actually sell it anytime because now I have a provider. <laughs> oh, I hope I didn't lose his number. But now I have a provider. I can actually sell it to you as soon as I get it. He has to mail it to me. He has to mail me the hondo, but I had to leave it behind because you know what? I was going to be using it when I had decided that I, I'm going to save the life sunshine when I had decided that I'm no longer going to be using tobacco in my practice or in anything else because I don't need it. Now it was just something I did for the fun of it and the pleasure of it and, it and it became an addiction. But I don't need it because even going home, I picked up on a lot of um, some of the you know powers that I didn't have. And then the most interesting thing was when I was told that I bring good luck to people. And guess what? I don't care what you all say. I met this wretched girl, she was my client. She was 36 years old, never had a boyfriend, never been kissed, and her father was harnessing her energies and doing all sorts of fuckery, African style. She was African. I've been working with her for four years. And now she she met oh, the first year, the second year, oh my God, it was a struggle. The third year, oh my God, it was a struggle. I even sent her back to her homeland to get some help. And then when she got the help, we came back and I checked. Then I cleansed her from the shenanigans of that help, you know. Do you know? She got married. She had a baby. And her husband is handsome. And I just said there, and I said, my ancestors did this. They took a girl whose life was just the wretched of the wretched. And she is very psychic. And they turned her into a wife and a mother. It's things like that that make me happy. It's things like that that when I feel bad, now I remember. I remember that I have a purpose and I thank the old man who said to me, you don't understand. You don't understand. God gave you a gift greater than anything that you are doing. Your presence alone in a room. It blesses the women or the men in that room with good luck. And when my friend, he got a job just by spending time with me. He, the old man literally said, spend time with her, Lala. Spend time with her. Good things will happen. He was looking for a job for seven years. He got a job as a, a lecturer at a college after just spending a couple of months in my company on and off it wasn't every day so he said to me and i'm gonna try to make that happen he said to me please don't sit in a corner try 
to be in the company of your flock and sit in the middle of the room all the time so that they can be blessed just by you being there because whatever the energies are emanating from me and going you know and i was like so where's my luck i'm almost homeless but anyway with the way our lives are so hard i'm i'm happy when your lives are less hard i'm happy i hope you start but yeah go it is what it is you know this is why my people always say to me we are sorry this happened to you you know what i'm saying I, you know the gifts were put on me for someone else you know not for but yes i i i, I feel pleased i feel i feel good i feel happy i i feel like yep because she was my hardest case going against africans Ooh. Ooh. going against africans Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. how do you vet a good sangoma i also have to find one I, I don't know. You know what it is really? It's, I really think that there are lots of good sangomas in South Africa. Just most of them are lazy. If their ancestors are lazy. Like I have had to learn to work on a frequency of America. Do you know what I'm saying? My ancestors have had to adjust. They've had to work on that frequency. And you know, my ancestors, they, they, they are like dogs with bones. They, they don't give up. They are like dogs with bones. You know, so like, yeah, my ancestors bringing me luck, my goodness. I don't know. Those are delinquents right there. But they are like, you know, it's like I noticed that I, I resonate a higher octave than 99 percent of my fellow compatriots not because they don't have as much power it's just that because of my experiences and where i have lived this is where i resonate a higher octave than them but they are just as brilliant so i really think you should just pick your sangoma but like i always say and i will keep saying it Sangomas are like medical doctors. Once you have one, no matter how dark it looks out there, no matter how you think this thing is not working because my client, the, the African girl, whom I sent back to Africa for some cleansings, she used to cry. This is, nothing has changed. Nothing. No, and I would look at her and say, for sure, nothing has changed. And I would say, yeah, you're right. Then my ancestors and I would have sleepless nights as to how can she get rid of her fucking father? She can't get married because her father is claiming her as his wife. Do you know what I'm saying? Let me tell you guys, stick to your metaphysical practitioner. Thank you, JLo. That's all I can say. Stick to that one and fight on, fight on with that one because that one will look under, over, around just to help you because you have stuck, you know, you stick, stick, stick. Introverts and oh yes, you and me both. <laughs> there are some cultures that just do that. Zimbabwe be. <laughs> now you're telling me Jamaica, right? Oh yes, oh yes. Oh yes, introvert. I spent the first four years of me being a, 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 a Sangoma washing away and removing the stuff that was done to me by those who initiated me so yeah 
Yeah. Yes, her father made himself a spiritual husband. But we finally beat that man. Now she is a wife to a very handsome man and she, she has a baby. We beat him. <laughs> we did. We did. Yes, and yes, and yes. And she comes from the Congo, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, he was harvesting her energy for his wealth. Her father was harvesting her energy for his wealth. And his son, her brother was involved and the stepmother was involved. It was terrible. And she is the daughter of a Sangoma, but the father didn't marry the mother. I think he was using the mother as well. And then, I don't know, he ended up, ah, uh, whatever. Big story. But the point is, I, 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 <laughs> oh my God. So then I'm thinking that some of my African herbs for that reason, I might give the, I might, they might be, they will be part and parcel of the appointment that you make with me. And I see that you really need them. I don't know. I will see. On that note, thank you so much for welcoming me back with so much love. You guys are so cool. I will be posting on YouTube very regularly. And um, because I just want to, I want to get into the rhythm because this is my purpose, you know. This is my purpose. I will, and of course, and also I need to eat. <laughs> Do psychics create more psychics? Yes. Yes. Thank you so much. I'm so glad to be home. I'm so glad to be back. I am so happy to be back. And here is to the sanctuary. The sanctuary for people like you and I. You know, it's a long-term project, but I got to keep it foremost on my mind. Thank you so much, guys. You are so loved by me in ways that you are never going to be able to know because you hold me up. You hold me up so much no matter where I go and no matter what I do, you guys hold me up. Thank you, guys. A reading on why Diddy is turning on Jay-Z. Oh, God. Can somebody please send me those articles? Thank you, guys. Because that would be a nice reading. Those two turning against each other. I like wars. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> oh.